I think that's like my first or second time seeing a 2020 in person. They're pretty dope looking. What do you guys think of them? Drop a comment down below. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Getting a pretty late start today. We had a ton of errands to run this morning, so it's already 11 o'clock. We're headed to the shop right now. We are going to get back to work on the Evo 8 build. First thing that we need to get done today, or probably today's project, is going to be to completely get this thing disassembled. A few little things left get it prepped out and maybe start vinyl wrapping. Probably start vinyl wrapping at least a few of the panels. I had been stressing about these little window trim moldings right here, but I think I figured out how to do it. I actually got the driver's side off already. I'll show you guys how I think it's supposed to be done and then we can go try it on the passenger side. All right, so first off, there is a screw right there. If you open the door, it'll be right there. So you gotta pop that screw off. As you can see, it screws into this molding right there. And then on the very front, there's this clip. This clip connects right there so you do have to pull off the mirror which we already had to do then you're going to lift the trim piece up that clip's going to slide over that you're going to slide the whole trim piece back while pulling up and it'll slide right off now let's see if it works this easy on the passenger side all right so we got to slide it up over that clip in the front and then i'm going to push it back kind of wiggle it up and out at the same time like that. So we just got the entire car disassembled. Everything is off the car that we need to remove, except for one thing, actually. The antenna on the roof, we still gotta pull off. We'll do that later, we'll do the roof probably last. From here, we're gonna run through, wipe down the entire car with just water, and as we're wiping it down, cleaning it up, I'm gonna remove any stickers that we need to remove and be clay barring the car at the same time. Let me show you guys what I use. All right, these are the two things that we need. I guess one more thing is microfiber towels. So I'll have all this linked down below. Microfiber towels, this is a 30 pack, water and a spray bottle. These are actually very, very nice spray bottles. If you guys wanna pick some up, I'll link them down below. I hate bad spray bottles. And then this is a Mother's Speed Clay 2.0. These things are so freaking handy, fit nice in your hand, which make claying a car so much more enjoyable. So let's run through, wipe it down, clay it up, and then wipe it down with IPA and we can get to vinyl wrapping. You guys still don't know the color, you guys will know the color here in about two or three minutes. So all the claying does is just remove any dirt or grime, anything that's hard stuck on the paint. It'll pull it off so when we are finished with the vinyl wrap, we will have a very nice smooth surface.
All right, so right now the entire car is clay barred. I guess from here it is time to open up the wrap and show you guys what we got. And look who showed up. Just hanging out. Just eating. Just eating. Eating on the casting couch. Dude, yeah, I don't want to know what's been done on this thing. You ready for this for you? I guess you know the color. Yeah, but it's okay to see it though. Just a little, just a little peek. Hopefully it looks good. Kind of so nervous. Good. Damn, that's kind of bright. It's like almost fluorescent. What do you think? Dude, that's gonna look sick. I won't know how good it looks until I wrap at least one panel. So here is the color, guys. It is light gloss blue is what it's called, and it's from Avery. It's pretty much like a... The reason I went with this color is on their site, they had a Subaru that was dropped this color, and it's really, really similar to the hyper blue color. So I'm really excited to get this done on the Evo 8. If you guys want to pick some of this wrap up, I'll link it down below. But if you're in Spokane, obviously hit up Elko Tent Shop. You can get it for probably cheaper. So I think the first thing I want to wrap is the hood. It's always what I start out with, just a nice big flat panel to kind of get an idea what the car is going to look like. So it's already clay barred. All we have to do from here, wipe it down with IPA, open up the hood, go on the underside, wipe down the edges with IPA, and we can get to vinyl wrapping. Let me show you guys some utensils and supplies that we're going to be using. This is the majority of the stuff we need. Wrap glove, knife, knifeless tape, squeegee. We do have a bag of a bunch of other stuff right there that we may or may not use, but this is the majority of it. So all the stuff I will link down below as well. Knifeless tape, this is for doing inlays and overlays, especially on the bumpers is really the only thing that we'll need it on and probably the wing as well, maybe the mirrors. So we're not gonna be using any of that on the hood. Knife, obviously to cut the vinyl, squeegee. Wrap gloves are super, super nice so you don't burn your hands. One more important thing that we will need are these wrap magnets as well. Should we do it? So the process we'll be doing, pull out some wrap, measure it out, cut the size that we need, wipe down the hood with IPA, and then wrap the hood. Dude. Bro, that's such a nice color. Dude, I love that. It looks way better with wrap off. Yeah, it looks great. Dude, that's gonna look good. Oh, yeah. Wow, it's like, Tree bright. All right, so we got the hood laid down, all glossed out. So what we're gonna do from here, as you can see, there's no wrinkles anywhere. We're gonna start in the center and just work our way out. I did make a little relief cut right here. This is where the hood vent goes. So there's a giant hole right there. But yeah, hoods are very, very simple. If you guys are just getting into wrapping, I would definitely recommend starting with like a hood or a roof, something very flat with not a lot of curves in it. We won't need much heat today. It is probably like 80, 85 degrees out in the shop right now, so I don't think we're gonna really need the heat gun, but we might.
We just finished up with the hood. Here is a little side-by-side -side comparison of the color difference versus the electric blue. This is much more poppy, I would say. Hood turned out really good. Nice to get back in the flow of wrapping again. So I'm gonna hit the front fender, probably both front fenders, and then we can move on to the quarter panel and pillar section. And then after that, we're gonna do the doors. So I'm gonna kind of work from front to the back. Let's bang out these fenders. We ended up pulling this fender out a little bit so we can tuck the vinyl down in there, especially when we're doing this pillar here. Be really, even though it's not a huge color change, it'll be really nice to just have everything completely covered and especially on the back side right here. So let's bang this thing out. Got the vinyl cut for both fenders. She's coming along, boys. All right, so on something like a fender where you have this really hard line right here, I found it easier if you always just start from that line. So we're gonna just run this line in with our finger. We can either work up or we can work down. Let's start by going up. We've got the whole front done, except for the bumper. This next part is gonna be a little bit difficult. Jared, I might need help for it. Do it. Don't give me that look. So we need to lay out this side of the car. We're gonna be wrapping the doors separately, but we're actually gonna lay all the vinyl out, cut the doors out of the vinyl, or cut the front door out of the vinyl, shift the vinyl, cut the rear door out, cut the vinyl for the skirt out, and then we're gonna do this whole pillar right here. And the quarter panel has to all be done in one sheet. Shall we do it? Okay. It's always a little bit difficult and tricky. Okay guys, we got everything cut out. We got all the vinyl cut like we wanted. There should be plenty enough on that big door sheet that we cut out for the side skirt as well. If not, we have a send, this is actually a 75 foot roll by the way, not a 60 foot. So we have way more than enough than we'll ever, ever need. So we don't need to really worry about conserving vinyl right now. The next step is to go through, clean all the jams and everything again with IPA, wipe down one last time with IPA, and then this whole section, quarter panel, pillar section, we're gonna wrap.
Okay, so this is kind of how I always like to do it is I will peel off all the backing all the way up to about this point here. We have that backing still on there. So we're gonna finish out this entire section real quick, lay it down, make sure it's all good to go. And then we can peel the backing off of the rest of the vinyl and do that whole pillar part. I do find it easier this way. It's not super overwhelming when you realize that you're pretty much doing an entire half of a car at one time. I think it's a lot easier this way. We'll all finish up the most nerve-wracking part of a car for me at least because there's so much vinyl that you're potentially could be wasting core panels done the whole pillar's done let's move on to these two doors really excited to get this whole passenger side finished up really get a feel for how it's going to look all the stuff up here i'll finish when the car's on the ground so we can actually reach it but damn what do you think i like it a lot We just finished up the rear door and now this whole side of the car is finished up. And she's pretty cute. I dig it. So what I want to focus on now is the trunk. We're gonna do the trunk. First really tonight, we may get a little bit more done, but probably not. I feel like getting one whole side and the hood done and the trunk done in one day is making some solid progress. So let's bang out this trunk real quick. This is gonna be a two-piecer. We could definitely do it in one piece, but it's easier to do in two. So seam is gonna go right down the center with knifeless tape. And I'm gonna do, let's see, let's do the bottom first or the back of it first, and then we're gonna do the top. So the top will overlap the bottom and you won't see the seam.
thing is gonna look insane when it's all finished up. I'm so stoked to show you guys what all we have planned for this car, the wheels that we're doing, how it's gonna sit, the lips, the skirts, all that good stuff. It's really gonna come together at the end. I know right now on stock wheels, when it's away from the air, completely torn apart, it probably doesn't look the best, but trust in the process, trust in the, in the vision, and I am pretty confident a lot of you guys are gonna like how this thing turns out. I would say we're about 40% of the way done. We do solve the bumpers, which are gonna be tough. Skirts are gonna be pretty easy. We do have all the door handles, mirrors, and then the whole right side and roof. 40, maybe 50% of the way done. I think if we get an early start tomorrow, we should technically be able to finish this car up. This is gonna be where we ended off tonight though. We do still have two workouts to do, the outdoor one and the weight training one. And it's already getting pretty late. Bobby is wanting to go to the gym right now. So that is gonna be it for today, boys. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of the color choice. I love this color. I've always wanted to do a light blue color. I think it's gonna look insane when it's done. Peace out, I'll see you tomorrow.